This is a great one about comparisons. First, just let's talk about the difference between more than any and more than any other. For example, suppose I have a friend, Fred, and I say Fred is more intelligent than any dog. Of course, that's not much of a compliment, but it's grammatically correct because what it means is I could take any dog and Fred would be smarter than that dog. But if I said Fred is more intelligent than any human, now let's, let's suppose my friend, my hypothetical friend Fred is really smart. Even if he's smarter than everyone else, we still can't say Fred is smarter than every human because every human, one human I could pick is Fred himself. And it's not true to say Fred is smarter than Fred. Even if Fred were smart, the smartest person in the world, Fred would not be smarter than Fred. And therefore, you can never say more than any if you're comparing somebody to other members of the same group. If you're comparing somebody to other members of the same group, you have to say more than any other. Because even if the person is best in the group or highest or most whatever in the group, they're not going to be better than or higher than themselves. So here we're comparing one playwright, Franz Krutz, to other German playwrights. So we're comparing somebody to other individuals in the same category. So we have to use more than any other, not more than any, because then we'd be comparing him to himself. So more than any is wrong, any, any, and so then we're left with B and D. So what's the difference between B and D? His works are produced more often than any other playwright. His works are produced more often than those of any other playwright. Well, in the first one, even though logically we understand what's going on, technically what we're saying in B is that we're comparing his works, which is the subject after the semicolon, his works to the human beings the other playwrights. We're comparing plays to actual human beings, apples to oranges. So that comparison doesn't work. In D, by contrast, what we're doing is we're comparing his works to those, those works of the other playwrights. So we're now comparing works to works, plays to plays. And that's a proper parallelism. Remember, in comparisons, you always want a proper parallelism. So B is wrong. And D is by far the best answer choice.